Testosterone is the primary male hormone responsible for many processes in the body including sex characteristics, fertility, mood, bone mineralization, puberty, and etc. We will discuss some of this important functions of testosterone. Testosterone causes development of secondary sex characteristics and masculinity. Include, male hair pattern, vocal changes, and voice deepening, anabolic effect, creating muscle mass, growth spurts in puberty, both for girls and boys also. Skeletal muscle growth, testosterone stimulates protein synthesis. Testosterone also stimulates erythropoiesis, red blood cells. That's why higher hematocrit in males versus females. Testosterone level tend to drop with increasing with age, in both women and men also. In men it causes, decrease in testicular size, drop a libido, lower bone density, muscle mass decline, increased fat production. In women, during aging, ovarian function declines. It causes decrease of testosterone and estrogens also. But the other 50% of testosterone is supplied by the adrenal glands. The leading symptom of decreased testosterone is loss of libido. Intake of testosterone supplementation may also lead, not only to increased libido, but to increased bone mineral density and an improvement in general overall sense of well-being including energy, strength, motivation, and mood. Testosterone has several positive effects on sexual function, but its most significant effect is on libido, sexual interest, and arousal. Boys going through puberty develop an enhanced interest in sex, thoughts, fantasies, masturbation, intercourse, as a consequence of rising levels of testosterone. Hypogonadal men usually have a significant improvement in libido when testosterone replacement therapy is initiated. Testosterone functions within the brain. There are several lines of evidence for this. There are androgen receptors within the brain. Testosterone is converted to both dihydrotestin, DHT, and estradiol by the actions of 5-reductase and aromatase respectively in the brain. Steroid hormones promote neuronal cell growth and survival. Testosterone enhances cerebral perfusion. Studies of cognition demonstrate that older men with higher levels of free testosterone index have better scores in tests of visual memory, verbal memory, visuospatial functions, and visuomotor scanning. Hypogonadal men have lower scores in tests of memory, visuospatial function, with a faster decline in visual memory. In a very small, short-term placebo-controlled study hypogonadal men with Alzheimer's disease, AD, treated with testosterone demonstrated a modest improvement in a cognition assessment score in AD. Both men and women with Alzheimer's disease were found to have an increased concentration of sex hormone binding globulin, and decreased free androgen index when compared with controls. In a prospective study of 574 men whose baseline age span was 32 to 87 years and who were followed for a mean of 19.1 years, the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease decreased 26% for each 10-unit increase in free testosterone index. The authors concluded that testosterone may be important for the prevention and treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Many studies demonstrate an improvement in mood of hypogonadal men treated with testosterone. The relationship between testosterone status and mood, particularly depression, remains unresolved. Using Beck's depression inventory, Barrett Connor and colleagues found that the depression score worsened as men aged, exactly at a time when testosterone levels are decreasing. Pope and colleagues found that testosterone treatment in men with refractory depression lowered the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale and the Clinical Global Impression Severity Rating. The Beck Depression Inventory remained unchanged in Pope's study. That there is an association between depression and testosterone concentration seems possible because of the observation that depression may be associated with reduced testosterone concentrations, hypogonadal men may have their symptoms of depression relieved by testosterone replacement therapy, and that testosterone itself may have antidepressant properties. The evidence, however, is inconsistent. Some studies found that there was no relationship between testosterone and depression but there was an association of testosterone with dysthymia. On the other hand, other studies found that middle-aged men with depression did have a reduction in bioavailable testosterone. 
Testosterone is a stimulant of hematopoiesis in the bone marrow and consequently, increases the hematocrit. Men with unexplained anemia should have their testosterone measured and if reduced, these men should be treated with testosterone. Because of the erythropoietin stimulating effect of testosterone, one of the parameters to be monitored during testosterone treatment is hematocrit since a small percent of testosterone-treated men develop polycythemia. Diabetes. Adipose tissue contains high concentrations of aromatase thus accelerating the conversion of testosterone to estradiol. Estradiol, in turn, suppresses gonadotropin secretion which reduces the output of testosterone. Diabetes mellitus is associated with decreased levels of testosterone. Individuals with metabolic syndrome are at increased risk for developing coronary artery disease and diabetes mellitus. Predicting who might develop the metabolic syndrome would allow preventive measures to be taken in addition to weight control and other lifestyle modifications such as cessation of smoking and increased exercise. It is known that with decreasing testosterone availability in aging males there is an increase in fat mass and decrease in lean body mass. Data from the Massachusetts Male Aging Study demonstrated that men with low levels of testosterone, sex hormone binding globulin, or clinical androgen deficiency, especially men with a BMI of greater than 25, were at increased risk of developing the metabolic syndrome and hence, diabetes mellitus and or coronary artery disease. It is now well established that elderly men with type 2 diabetes mellitus have reduced levels of testosterone. It is known, however, that obese men and diabetic men have reduced levels of SHBG which could account for the lower total testosterone levels found in diabetic men. Decreased testosterone production in men with rheumatoid arthritis is a common finding, Stafford et al. 2000, and it is now generally recognized that androgens have the capacity to suppress both the hormonal and cellular immune response and so act as one of the body's natural anti-inflammatory agents. This known anti-inflammatory action of testosterone has led to studying the effect of testosterone therapy in men with rheumatoid disease. Although not all studies have reported positive effects of testosterone treatment, some studies do demonstrate an improvement in both clinical and chemical markers of the immune response. This observation would go along with more recent evidence that testosterone or its metabolites protects immunity by preserving the number of regulatory T-cells and the activation of CD8-plus T-cells.